Alrighty boys, welcome back to another video on Vanguard has finally updated update 0 0.5 is out and obviously it's brung out the new Demon Slayer update. So as you can see, Akazin banner and I think Tengen and Rengoku are the new like main characters and there's obviously some other legendaries and other side characters that uh, are out. So obviously yeah, that, there's Rengoku, that's Akaza. Uh, Tengen was Tengen. Yeah, there's Tengen. And, oh no, there's Tengen. Pretty sure, yeah, that's Obito. There's Tengen, and then um, they've obviously got uh, yeah, some of the new legendaries. I'm pretty sure that's it. So, yeah, but as you came to this video for, you guys want to know how to AFK farm brand new Rengoku uh, unit. So, as you can see, uh, if you come over to the new area over here to the left, obviously it's raids. And uh, if you go to inside one of the like chambers, you can see the spider forest and there's four axe. And every act gives you these spider webs to obviously pay them forward to get the it's called the upgrade stuff for the units. So if I come out here, you can see as in Rengoku, um, you can buy it 99 times only. So you can that's how many times you can get it. So you'll have to pay 600 for Rengoku's uh, Tengen's and uh, Akaza's um, upgrade like items. And obviously you can buy uh, like. This we used to cast increased drop chance. Also, if you want to, uh, this actually might be very good actually. So the way that obviously I'm going to show you how to AFK. Obviously, once you AFK enough, you'll get loads of these uh, webs. And obviously, once you've like upgraded the guys you want to upgrade, you can just pay it all into this, and then have one big run. That might be very smart, guys. But back to the, the video. If you come to Act Four down here, you can see it's a one percent drop chance. It's got high percent chance then egress luckily so hopefully it shouldn't take me long i can hope but yeah this is what we're going to be doing so obviously you need to complete all the acts to go to act four so let's jump straight into it but whilst this is teleporting us in guys okay guys we have arrived so before i start this i will say guys i know i've got egress in my party and some of you guys won't have egress some of you might, some of you won't. If you have egress, use them. But I'm going to show you how to do it without egress. It makes it fair on everyone. Because it is still quite hard to get egress. Right. So, what you want to do, guys, is you want to come up here. Well, obviously, I'm not going to do it yet. But you just want to come up here and sit here. Obviously, I'm going to have to wait till it replays. So, then I can actually do the tiny task stuff. Okay, guys. As you can see, we have failed. So, what you want to do is you want to come to this little corner point on top of this. And angle it so you can see literally the whole map just gives you more option if you want to play around with it but obviously this time you can see my tiny task guys so what you want to do is you want to go to preferences put it on continuous playback and put it on like a hotkey so then you can stop it at any time then back up then all you're going to want to do is just click record and then spam retry and then spam yes and then it starts. So you want to get your speed wagon first and put him over here. And we're going to place all three of our speed wagons down. Right. In the meantime, whilst uh, we're getting the money for the speed wagons, you're going to need Sakura, guys. She's literally an epic unit. I don't know if I said it before, but what she does is in this final act, uh, the boss snares you, which like basically that makes your units not be able to attack at all. And uh, what I, I was doing before is I had to delete them and replace them. And uh, you can't you can't do that. You just don't get enough money to do that. Some people might be able to if they do more damage, but literally all you have to do is bring this unit. It's that simple. Because what Sakura does is she cleanses the people that are in within her range. So if you bring her and put her down, you can just cleanse your team, and uh, they'll be able to attack again. So obviously you'll see it later on when we need to use her. So we've got three of our speed wagons down here. So. Obviously, I've put uh, three of them down and upgraded them. So now, I'm just going to wait for the money to come in to place our first Sun Jin Wu. And we're going to place it right on this pivot point here, guys. So we're going to place them down. So all it was is I placed three of them down and upgraded them twice, two of them. So we just get that little bit of extra money. And this Sun Jin Wu should be able to hold them off. Let's do that. Place one down. And then upgrade the final one. I did that final one a bit late. But just do it as soon as you can guys. And then you place two down. And then I'm going to place uh, my final one down. So then I don't have to worry about them getting through. But just like that. You're going to place them all there like that. 
now we're just going to focus on just upgrading our money farms now guys because that's the most important you need that money flowing right there we are just by killing the mobs we get quite a bit of money as well we should max out our farms around about eight nine ish i would say right so whilst this is happening i'm gonna place my hakari ring you don't need her guys but i'm just gonna place her down if you have a place if you don't it's not that big of a difference but obviously that extra little bit does help it just makes it faster it's not like a game change guys you don't need her but if you guys do have her she is free from the battle pass if you don't know how to get her so i'd recommend getting her very good support unit so we should be coming up on it yeah so hopefully at nine we should be able to there's one and then an extra bit of money's now there we are right so it's all done now guys so we're fully upgraded at nine so all you're gonna do now is just upgrade your sunju moves upgrade them all to uh, i think they'll be near 10k damage and get one of them so they have the ability to uh clone their shadows because uh that will help out that extra little bit as well But I am, guys, I am only doing it with Sun Jin Woo. Obviously, like, you guys are not just going to have one Mythics by now. The game's been out for a while. You guys are going to have a lot of Mythics. So, you could probably place a load of them up. But why I've done it like this, guys, so you can see the whole road is... You could place it even higher up for time. So, obviously, you could do this run even quicker. I'm just showing you that you can just do it with only Sun Jin Woo. You guys can play around with this and have them wherever you want. So, you could have, like, a high chin here. Defend at the start, get your money up a bit, and then place all three of them here. And place a couple more units behind them. Like, you can make the run even faster, but I'm just showing you that you can do it from here. Like, you guys can, like, experiment and try it your own way. Because, obviously, you can see the whole road from here. And it gives you a lot of, uh, a lot of like, room to work with. Okay, we're on 13 now. So, obviously, we've got uh, another seven more to get through. So... After a couple more waves, we're going to place our Sakras down. And obviously, we're going to try and get it perfectly so they're in the range of it. So, we'll start it now. So, we're going to get the first one. Pop her right there. Get the next one. Pop her right there. Get the next one. Pop her right there. They don't need to be upgraded to max. I think it's three upgrades like that. And they'll have the cleanse ability. And as you can see, it's here. But medical chakra cooldown is 100 seconds. It's not a global cooldown, guys. That's why we are placed in three. So it cleanses units within the range of all debuffs. So obviously, when Sun Jin Wu gets debuffed, we're going to click it and it'll un uh, debuff him. They can actually uh, attack the boss. Also, guys, I would recommend getting like Tengen or Akaza because units of the same map so obviously the characters of their own map so this is Demon Slayer so obviously if you have Demon Slayer characters they're going to do more damage I'm pretty sure guys so I'm doing it with Summon Jibui which isn't obviously not part of this anime so it'll make it even easier if you have uh, one of the, the units from that map okay we're coming up to the final three waves now so I'm going to upgrade this a couple more times so i can get the arise it's coming right one more upgrade and then he's got his ability with this guy and more waves out you just need a bit more 12.5 we'll definitely have it by the final wave It's, yeah, it's this simple, guys. This simple. You don't have to do anything now. As soon as you've done this, you can kick back and relax. Right, we can someone else. Right, well, I want more. And I think that's all the upgrades we're going to get. Right, now, it's just a timing game. You're just going to have to time it when he uh, decides to debuff you guys. Obviously, we've got the Arise. So, once uh, Tui... It's close enough. I'm going to uh, click your eyes. 
And if you guys didn't know, this boss uh, spawns another two more bosses, which also have over 100k. But you don't need to worry about it. Sunjimu absolutely blitzes through them, as you'll see. I think as soon as we start attacking him, he's going to start um, debuffing us. Right, I'm going to click the Arise now. Right, now watch, guys. Watch uh, over here for your units and get ready with the debuff. There, it snared us. So I clicked uh, the medical thing and they're attacking again. So get ready on the next one. As you can see, his HP is going down very quick. There too, he's dead. They got snared again, so I'm going to obviously uh, use a medical. And then I don't know if you need the last one. You probably don't, but we'll just have it on standby anyway. I don't know if it's only two that makes it snared. Come on, the demon father, the last boss. And bang. Just like that, guys. It's that easy. Imagine we get him now. Oh my god, that would have been good for the video. <laughs> right, so yeah, guys. It's literally that easy. And then all you're going to want to do is come back to your record. Click stop. And then I would move it like somewhere else. I'll just put it here. Then obviously it will click here. So it might accidentally click play again. And you might have to redo it. So just move it to somewhere else. And then just like this. If you click play. Bang. Off it goes guys. So yeah guys. That is how you AFK farm the brand new Rengoku Act 4 mod. So yeah guys. If you enjoyed the video. Smash the thumbs up button. And obviously more Defender content is coming out. Hopefully I want to make a tier list. I might make a tier list on the new characters. But yeah guys. Uh. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.